Right, you can see here, this is my 20 centimeter opening. I've come in, like say, about three or four centimeters from the corner. I backstitch there and I've backstitched when I finish because you need to make it nice and strong. Before we turn it through, what you should always do when you do a bagged out method, um, same when you're sewing collars or anything like that, you need to trim your corner off and that eliminates bulk and you'll have much nicer, neater corners. My fabric wasn't quite lined up there, so I let it hang over because we need the two fabrics to be at the same, the same tension. We don't want to cre create any sagging or bagging, you know, one, one fabric pulling round more than the other. So just take off all of your corners, all four corners. Be careful not to snip your stitching better get as close as possible and then that's your opening there when you're ready we can turn it through and they call it bagging out because it's basically it's created a big bag so be careful so that you're not going to you don't want to rip your fabric. You have back tactic, but it's still really easy to, to rip things. But now you can see how beautiful the two fabrics are together. So keep using your hands to turn it through. But then really carefully, Sometimes better off using a, a, a blunt knitting needle or a special tool for poking corners through. But if you're really careful, you can use your big scissors and push, push your corners out gently, not too much. Because it looks much nicer to have a proper point than a rounded off one. So that's two corners done. three corners and the last corner is just up here by my hand because if you remember we just stitched in about four centimeters from the edge just turn this corner through there we go so that's your Rectangle consisting of that's your 150 centimeter wide fabric where your fold was down there, and then that's your meter cut. And what we're going to do when when we've pressed when we've pressed all these edges nice and neatly, we literally we're going to close close this opening up by hand so it's nice and neat. Alternatively, you can edge stitch all the way around and close the gap up, but I think it looks much neater if you sew it by hand. And then we leave, we put the two edges together, your two lining edges together, and we create an opening for your neck here, which you can roll that over and it leaves you a lovely contrast like that. And then this edge here, this edge here, we sew together. You can literally sew it 